Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie, and we're at my home. So what are we going to check out today, Mark? Well, Emporia sent us a couple of devices to monitor power in your house. One little box and one big heavy box. Ooh. And I'll explain what each one of them does. But they did send us this for the review. So, in the little box is an energy monitor that you basically plug into a wall outlet. It's got a USB stick to it, but it's pretty easy to install. You plug it in. And this monitors the energy on your power meter, right? Just like the power company does. But you have to have the right one. You have to make sure that your company's smart meter works with this. Then this other box over here actually hooks up to your circuits in your circuit box, right? In your power panel. But that means you have to open that panel up. So while this one can be installed by you by just plugging in a USB stick, this one we recommend getting an electrician because it's a lot more involved. So we're going to open up this one first to show what it's all in there. And then we'll show you the little one. And then we're going to show you how the app works. And the app is nice because it works on both your phone and on the web. Cool. All right. So let's take a look. All right. So this is how we can track down power hogs. Power hogs. She's saying me. <laughs> Warning. The Emporia View requires installing transformers inside your electrical panel. It sounds like a job for an electrician. For an electrician. All right. But it's got an app. It's got the information on installing the app. Here's what's in the box. All right. Everything that's in the box is there. All right. And then this is a little circuit thing you, you're going to put in the box. So it's like... Uh, Oh. Look at this. Isn't that cool? It's got uh, oh, that's cool. all sorts of connectors on it. All right. Let me show you those in a second. You even have an antenna you're going to put on here and uh, a power plug. This is very well packaged. Yeah, well packaged. So in the accessory box is a couple of clamps that you have to hook up to your power coming into your house. So, you know, from your power meter, there's a couple of big wires coming out into that circuit panel, the circuit box. And... Um, these clamps go around those wires. This is why you don't want to do this yourself because these, yeah, exactly. These wires are live, or the wires you're going to clamp around are live, and uh, you just don't want to hurt yourself. All right. All right. So there's two of those to come in here. Accessories. Accessories. All right. So I don't know what's in the accessories box, but it's put a couple odds and ends. Oh, the, an the antenna. I want an antenna. Yeah. So the antenna hooks onto here, right? Look at this, I can assemble this myself. So that's cool. So it's an antenna, but you notice they have a little gasket because the way it works is you put it inside the electrical panel and then this goes on one of those knockouts on the side of the electrical panel. No, so. so that's sitting outside the metal box. It's Otherwise, connection. your Wi-Fi won't work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let me take this back right. up again. Then there's eight 50 amp sensors. So there's a total of 16 that come with this particular kit. Okay. So again, these are similar to the big guys that are measuring your whole house power and these little ones little baby ones they go on each of these individual circuit breakers so you know how you have breakers in your box and there's some wires coming out you're going to clamp this around one of the wires coming out of that again this is why an electrician makes sense but it's fairly straightforward you just take the clamp got a couple of magnetic things in here you put it around the wire and clamp boom and then you plug this into one of these ports here and if you notice, they're, they're numbered here, so you can uh, determine which one you which one's which, and that's important when you set up the app. All right, and so that's it. So there's a bunch of those. So you can hook up 16. Uh, but you don't have to hook them all up. You can hook up maybe the circuits you care about, but you yes, have to. So maybe you want to know how much power your computer, your TV, or your appliances are using, so you can pick the circuits you want to monitor. Yeah, it makes the most sense. All right, so that's what's in that box. Let's see, is there other things? Oh, and look wires and little plugs i think the little plugs are to plug the holes you don't use in this box and then uh this is when you hook up your your wires this is the power connector right that you plug this into here uh you need these wire nuts to hook up the power so all right so that's that box this is the emporia view gen 2 smart home energy monitor all right so that's for measuring each individual circuit all and right. then we have the little guy. This is called just the Emporia View. Yes, yeah, Smart Home Energy Monitor. So this is, again, it's, it hooks up to your Zigbee-based smart meter, and it has to be something where your power provider supports this. And there's a link 
in their, on their website, which will let you find out if your company is supported by this and how to set it up, how to hook, up, hook it all up. And uh, I would recommend you go there, figure out this thing is supported before you buy this, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a very simple device. So if you go to the Emporia website, you'll see the picture of the, of the, of the unit. So you can see there's a, a USB connected device in the top. That's the thing that's talking to your smart meter. And then there's just a power supply that you plug into the regular wall outlet. You need to be a certain distance from your power meter. Now in our case, on one side of the garage is their power meter on the outside wall. And then inside uh, through the whole garage and then into our laundry room is where I have this plugged in. So that's a good distance away at work. No problem hooking it up. So it's got a little quick start guide right here and it's got all the information you need to plug in to get it up and running, including the website that you go to. So let's now take a look at what the app shows you. So this is the web app. And I just want to show you this really quick because I can come in here to the home. You see ours is E26, E14 is what it's named. Um, can you rename that? I don't know, but I don't know if it matters because I don't think we're going to plug in more than one. <laughs> At least we're not going to. Uh, but you can come in here, which kind of cool is that I like the best, is if you click on graphs, you can see a graph of the energy use. So this one's by the hour. You can see how much power we're using. It shows you here in the upper right, it says, oh, uh, you've used uh, 0.675 pounds of CO2 emissions, which is cool. And uh, in December, we've used 30.8 pounds. And for, uh, what does it say here? It's monthly, it's monthly peak. peak. 2.57 kilowatts have been used, peak. But you can look at it by the minute. You can look at it by the second, which is Jeez. just crazy. You think about that. And the day, the week. You notice that we started this in around 1020 because <laughs> it's showing us by the month and by the year. So they give you a nice graphical output of everything that's gone on. Um, but the cool thing is you can come in here and they have a whole bunch of things to set up. And you can actually, I have the thing set right now on CO2 emissions, but you can go in here and unit a measure and say, hey, how many watts am I using? Like now it's showing I use 12.6 kilowatts for the day. Or right? by dollars, so you can see how much Ooh, you're spending. Or by dollars, yeah, what's the, probably, we probably care about that, huh? Okay, currency. All right, so we've spent $3.97 so far today. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. so, um, so it gives you all sorts of information. Now I'm looking at the same app, but on my phone. So one of the things you do when you set this thing up is you set up a whole bunch of parameters. So things like, do you have a hot tub, mm. right? Swimming pool, air conditioning, what kind of heat do you have? How many people are living in the house? Uh, home type, the square footage and so forth, your time zone, your billing date. That's really important for them to know by, by per month. And you can set up your utility rate. And here you go in here. And if you take a look at the screen here, is that it knows, right, about your electric bill. Yeah, so you could put this in manually or it can look it up for you based on your location. Yeah, so Pacific Gas Electric, residential, E1 residential base base mm -hmm. region. And then real rate thing, there's a link for it here. And then tiered charge and how many cents per kilowatt hour, which is, holy cow, 31 to 49 per kilowatt hour. That's we why better, it's important. I'm going to turn the lights <laughs> off in the studio here. Um, Okay, so that makes sense, mm -hmm. right? So that's the point is you set this whole thing up and you're all, you're ready to go. And then if you want, you can actually, if you happen to have certain thermostats, you can say, oh, I have an Ecobee thermostat or a Honeywell thermostat and actually plug it in here so it has more information because it knows about those devices. And it only has these four right now. Um, let's see, what was the other one they had there? Smart plug. So they actually have smart plugs. That they have and so if you get one of their smart plugs and you notice that they're in the united kingdom and european union and north america is that us i think so okay so if you happen to have one of those you can tell hey i've got these smart plugs and it will keep track of what the power is being used on those smart plugs so that's pretty cool is there anything else on here um, they see. also sell ev chargers oh that you that's could, cool huh you could monitor yeah ev charger and ev charger with load management so for you EV drivers, you're all set there. So there's a lot of, there's a whole ecosystem of products that they work with, both the ones that they sell and other partners. And then the other one I liked was they, you can export raw data. So you can go in here and say, I want to export on a date range, the raw data that this application has. So you can put it in a spreadsheet 
and really drive yourself crazy looking at the numbers. <laughs> so, uh, what else? Is there anything else in here? Let's see. And let's see. Oh, well, the other one was notification. So they have alerts you can put in oh, here. So good. yeah, you're approaching your monthly peak. Your EV will not charge. I guess for you EV owners, that's meaningful. Uh, the device is offline. I get, we get those all the time because I'm always rebooting our, our network <laughs> and um, for various reasons. So it tells you, it gives you notifications on it. See, I'll show it here. See, every one of these times I'm doing something with a smart home. Um, I go back to the notifications here. And um, you can have home mechanical issues, unusual consumption. That's kind of neat. It evolves when your power spikes up. Um, energy savings opportunities will tell you some ideas. Uh, money saving opportunities. And device notifications. I don't know what that one is. Oh, general notification about energy, Emporia Energy, and your view like new features and planned outages. Oh, oh that's cool. All right, so the point is that it's very comprehensive, this program, from setting up all your uh, parameters about your house and your usage and everything else to giving you all sorts of reports. You can take a look what you're doing. Yeah. So right now we're using this one and we're monitoring our whole house power. So that's what you're seeing in the app and on the web. If we had this one hooked up, uh, we would get more granular data on individual circuits that we would see. And yes, it makes total sense. And as a matter of fact, here's the graphical circuit diagram of our house. So you can see there's our meter or our monitor, right? And then it says it's monitoring the mains. But if we had this thing hooked up, you would have saw that graph would have been more comprehensive. It would have showed each of the circuits that you were monitoring along the way. And then you could look at each one individually if you'd like. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. That's it. That's really great. This is the Emporia View. So this is the Emporia View Smart Home Energy Monitor if you have an, a compatible smart meter. And this is the Gen 2 View. And this is a whole uh, circuit panel monitor that you hook up to your electrical panel. And we recommend an electrician for that part. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you.